This week, TypeScript 4.9 was released, and there's a really cool new feature that I want to show you. So let's jump right into it. We're going to be looking at the satisfies operator here, which is, like I said, a new operator in TypeScript 4.9. The purpose of the satisfies operator is to ensure that some object or some expression matches a particular type without accidentally broadening that object to whatever type you want to check it against. If that doesn't make sense, let's look at a specific example. To get us started, here, let's say we have some library that we're using that allows us to create a connection to a database. Of course, it has a create connection function that takes a couple of arguments and returns a connection. Now, let's say we have in maybe our in-house application framework or just part of our own application code, we have this config type that describes how we might configure a database, right? And of course, you can take a host, port, maybe a function uh, that tells us whether or not we should try reconnecting and a pool size. Now, the next step obviously is going to be to create our configuration somewhere within our code. So let's go ahead and create a config object. We have this config type, so it seems to make sense that we would make sure that this variable is declared as a config type. And then we can fill in our config here. Now, of course, I'm just going to hard code this host and port for this example, but you could imagine pulling these from environment variables or some other config repository. Either way, they're going to be typed, of course, as host being a string and port being a number. Now notice here we say port is a string or a number, which makes sense because config has port as a string or a number. And I think you're already seeing where some of the type differences here might lie. We know that for this particular config object, port is a number. However, when we say it should be of type config, then instead we see that port is actually a string or a number. That might seem pretty harmless, but now let's say we actually need to use this config to call our create connection function. So maybe we have another function here that's called start. Maybe this runs when our application starts up. So let's start by destructuring some properties out of this. So we've got our host and our port. We've got try reconnect. We even have pool size. We know that this particular config object doesn't have a pool size, but because the config type says we might have a pool size, we're able to pull that out here. So then of course, we're gonna call create connection. But if we look at the signature of create connection here, we can see we're gonna have a problem because host is a string, port needs to be a string, but our port could be a number or a string. Reconnect, it needs to be a Boolean, and then pool size needs to be a number. So we know we can pass our host in here. That works. Port could be a string or a number, so we need to check for that. If type of port is a number, then really we need to set port equal to, and we can just say, and now we can pass port as a number here. Try reconnect could be either a function that returns a Boolean, or it could be a Boolean itself. So we're going to need to do something similar there. We can say, if type of try reconnect does not equal a boolean, try reconnect can equal calling try reconnect. And finally, we need a pool size. Now, pool size might be undefined. So finally, we can say if there's no pool size, then we'll set pool size equal to say 10. And there we go, all of that works. So now we have a successful call to create connection because we've changed the types of each of these variables as we go along. Now, it's kind of a shame that we have to narrow the types of port try reconnect and pool size because we already know what those types are based on our hard coded object here. This is actually in our code. This isn't a dynamic object, you know, coming from a database or some other source. So maybe we don't even need to call this a config. And if we do that, then what we can see here is that now, while well, we have a couple of errors, first of all, pool size is not something we can pull out because it doesn't exist at all. So maybe we'll just hard code that as a 10. We know that try reconnect is a function always, so we can just call it in line like that. We know that port is just a number now and we're it's complaining that we can't reassign and change the type. So we could just inline this string part as well because there's no condition to check for. It's always a number. And so this simplifies our start code quite a bit. However, now our config object here is entirely unchecked. If we start deviating from what is an acceptable config shape, there's no way for us to be alerted about that. Well, this is where satisfies comes in. We add satisfies as an operator after the object, kind of like the as operator if you're casting a particular type. In this case, we're not casting a type. We're just saying that this config object should satisfy config. And what this means now is that if we start making changes to this config object that aren't in line with the config type, then TypeScript will warn us about that. For example, what if we added pool is 10 to this? Well, immediately we're going to get a warning because pool is not a property of config. 
and we know that we've misspelled this and really what we mean is pool size. If we remove this satisfies condition and try and say pool, config won't complain at all because we're just creating an object here. So adding satisfies config ensures that we're going to type check this object, but we're not broadening the type from the specific values or types that we have inside of it to the broader config type. Now we could even do something like as const here if we wanted to, and then we create an even narrower object where we have read only fields that are actually typed to the specific hard coded values that we have in here. And if for some reason you want these very narrow specific types, this is exactly how you can do it. It's pretty simple to use, but that is the new TypeScript 4.9 satisfies operator. It's a great way to ensure some object or expression matches a particular type without actually casting it to that particular type. If you've already started using the satisfies operator in your own code, definitely let us know in the comments how that's working out for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.